if I look at the upper left figure, I've got a rigid bar and it's connected to rigid base if you like and it's held there by a torsional spring. This uh, rigid member doesn't have any weight. You know, I'm trying to make it as simple as I can. So all I'm, I've done is I've dumped a load on the top. The length of the bar is L and the torsional spring constant that holds the bar vertically when there's no load on it. That sp torsional spring constant is K. So that would be inch pounds per radian, something like that. And in this, uh, when I load that, then what I'm going to look at is I have to go down to the second row first figure. Okay. And all this thing can do is tilt over through an amount alpha. It's a one degree of freedom system. And you can see the load sitting there on the top moving over and because the load does that it has a potential energy. Well, What does that mean? It means that no matter how I get from one place to the other the work is the same from the load. Now the, the second column the, the picture uh, in the first row looks the same in fact is the same as the one we just talked about but now when I allow the, the bar to move over, the load stays with it. And that's called a follower load. That's got some interesting characteristics. In general, you would not have a potential energy, but this case is so reduced that uh, you, you can't even say much about it. Okay, I'm doing those just to get everything warmed up. The third problem is two links. Uh, each bar has the same length, each torsional spring has the same stiffness, and it sticks straight up if the load P is zero. And now I put uh, the load that has a potential energy on it, and I get two degrees of freedom, alpha and beta being the coordinates I'm going to use. And then this analogous thing for the last problem except that it has a follower load. So uh, we, we want to take a look at those, or at least I do. And uh, the, the, the first two problems <coughs> can't wiggle like a, like a column, so it's not too surprising that their solutions differ a little bit from the last two which can form a kink and do all sorts of things. A little bit more interesting to look at. I'm going to restrict all this to small displacements. I'm going to do everything I can to make this simple. So whatever it takes, that's what we'll do. In the next slide, <coughs>